I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a let's play of Disgaea 3, Absence of Detention. This, this is the Disgaea that started it all off for me, so I'm, I'm very much, very much looking forward to being back here and spending some time with Mao and Razbell and, 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 and all the kids. It's funny like that. It sounded really old then. Anyway, let's start the game. The Netherworld, a world spoiled by spite. Cruelty, blood-soaked taboos, and boundless riffraff. They say that dark dwellers run rampant, causing horrifying disasters in these lands. In the center of this netherworld lies a school that endlessly continues to expand its grounds. The Nether Institute Evil Academy. With the Overlord as Dean and greater demons for teachers, demon students who follow their baser instincts are labeled as honor students at this school of torment. This is the root of evil in this tumultuous netherworld, the Pandora's box that spreads corruption and destruction. Still, many continue to be fascinated by this darkness. If you have the courage to descend upon the lands of this netherworld, beware of losing your mind to the chaos. This is your only warning. So be it. It's almost time to go to school, dude! <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's a good way to start that off, yes. I finally found you! Oh. For great justice, you will fall! <laughs> Fool! You think a mere human can defeat an overlord? 
can't say where's the page turning. It's like you can sort of see where like like Nisa really came from though. Like you, all the things we've seen so far, you combine them, Nisa, with Prinnies as well. Here I come. Eat this for my one hundred fathers. Don't ask. Truly a superhero. He has a hundred dads. Uh, Master, shouldn't you be going to class soon? This, this can't be. An overlord defeated by a human? You'll never understand. This is love and justice. The power of a hero! Definitely seeing the inspiration for Nisa here properly now. Like I said, combined with other things in the past. A hero! Evil shall fall by the light of justice! Behold the power of everyone's love! You know, the usual power of friendship. Demon Slayer X! Oh, I, I, I think it worked. Sounded painful. Justice, love, the power of a hero. Are you listening, Master? You've never even been to a class, dude. Isn't that, you know, kind of bad? Yes, but he's evil, so... With the Overlord dead, peace was restored. But as long as evil exists, the hero will fight on. The end. Thank you for your continued support. Please look forward to Hecaton's next series. Hecaton. <laughs> Damn. When I get immersed in my research like that, I get so excited, I can't help drooling. However, hmm, it seems the time has come for me to start the preparations. Well, what's up, Master Dude? Peons, listen closely! As of now, I shall become a hero! Good luck. To the Netherworld, the one and only son of the Overlord, Dean of Evil Academy? Why would you want to be a hero, dude? Why, to defeat the Overlord! To beat up my dad. I mean, why else? All of the evidence shows that it is the hero who always defeats the Overlord. Therefore, I must become a hero! Or just wait for him to die and become the Overlord? I mean, it's, it's a slower process, but, you know... It's too simplistic, dude. Fool! There's nothing simplistic about it. It's the conclusion of my three months of non-stop research on anime, comic books, and video games. The hero defeats the Overlord. This is the only infallible rule. Need I remind you that I'm a genius? Huh. That's some conclusion you've reached, dude. However, there is one huge problem. How does one become a hero? I'm sure there's more than one, but, uh, what is it? I don't understand this love and justice quantity that heroes always talk about. No matter how much I research it, even with my 1.8 million evil quotient, I can't figure it out. And the worst part is, this love and justice thing seems to be the source of a hero's power! What could it be? I, I don't know, candy or something, maybe? <laughs> so, you finally made your decision. Ah, Jeffrey. 
I trust the various research data I presented you about the hero has proven to be useful? Indeed. As you mentioned, it seems I must acquire the power of a hero in order to defeat the Overlord. The problem is, how do I obtain a hero's power? Do not worry, young master. Leave that task to your loyal butler. I thought this might happen, so I've already found a healthy, strapping, legendary hero for you. <laughs> that was fast. You really are convenient, Jeffrey. <laughs> that is a part of my job, after all. <laughs> the question I have with this is, like, where is his mouth in that beard? All right! I will capture that hero! Then I'll solve the mystery behind the hero's power, even if I have to dissect him! Experiments, of course. You better be ready, legendary hero! Phew! Talk about a pain, dude! At least the master finally went to school! I remember when I third played third played this? Yeah. First played this, I was very much like, why do they keep saying dude? Dude. Chapter 1, Netherworld Honor Student. Dude. Please wait, young master. Hmm? What? What? What is it, Jeffrey? I thought this might happen, so I've readied a few squires for you. Please, use them for your hunt. There's no need. Demons must relish solitude. Demons have no need for friends. Please tell me the healer is called Berry Melon, because that would be funny. Though what you say is very true, it is an overlord's duty to use slaves. I suggest you try them out this once. Oh, I suppose. <laughs> if you insist, then I will accept your advice. Indeed. I like Mal. You guys, you better be useful to me. He's just over the top. Right. Nailed it! I love the fact we have little musical notes now. Right, so if I remember correctly, there's one down here. Yes, 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 yes. Look at how much hell we're getting. I can't believe this. this is like, I'm, I'm going to be like a millionaire in no time. Now, where's the other one? I'm going to be singing this song so much. I love this song. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just so, so good. La, 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 la. Where is the last one? Because there's always three. Down here? Yes! Training Spear! Do we actually have an equipment on Mao at this point? A toy Blade, but... Let's see here. Handmade blow bourbon. No, so we've not got anything really that's, that's worth doing there. Alright then, so let's actually get out of here. We don't really... We'll speak to you to like... Blah, 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 blah. General Shop. You're going to explain what healing is at some point. They, they're going to explain that later, aren't they? Right, so that's Item World. Clearly, yeah, item order. Right, so let's head off, Jeffrey. Where to? I've been waiting for you, young master. How did you enjoy attending your very first day of school? The infamous Evil Academy wasn't as great as I expected. Not even a single honor student stands out. By the way, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, yes, I've prepared a dimensional gate for you. You can use it to travel instantaneously to any destination. You never cease to amaze me. As always, your efficiency seems almost unnatural. What a useful game-type mechanic. Stop it. I see you breaking the fourth wall there. Hmm. <laughs> Nonsense. I just read ahead a little and prepared as necessary. What? So, where is this legendary hero? Ah, yes. Uh, I have fashioned a hero dar which shows him in the Dean's office, which places him in the Overlord Castle. He's in my home? 
Just as my research predicted. Trespassing into people's homes and dealing violence in the name of justice. I read heroes use love and justice to get away with anything. It's so convenient. <laughs> you will understand everything once you become a hero yourself. That's true. Well then, I'm off. Ah, yes. Take care, young master. I like the Prinny statue on the left. It's got a, like a pair of glasses and it's reading a book. About love, it seems. <laughs> it's Raspberry. I, I mean, mysterious girl. He's a demon, but he wants to be a hero? I didn't know he was that bad. My lady. Are you certain you should be doing this? Eavesdropping is an activity for an honor student. Well, it can't be helped right now. This is an emergency. Yeah, a super emergency. Evil Academy? No, the entire netherworld is at risk! I, 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 I love the fact she's voiced by Laura Bailey. I, I remember the fact I used to, like, basically play any game Laura Bailey was in, because she was, a, for me, a staple of, like, a good dub, basically. It was like, if she was in it, it's probably gonna be a good dub, so. If I let him debut as a delinquent like this, it'll sour the image of all of us real hardcore badasses. Yes, it's our practice to garner attention by doing good things in defiance of the evil that demons do. If Mal becomes a delinquent as well, Our Lady won't stand out anymore. That's right. I can't let Mal, the honor student, copy my wickedly cool way of life. We've got to stop him. Yeah, basically, in, in this school, it's like, if you want to stand out as, like, like the bad guy, the, the bad boy, the bad girl, that sort of thing, it's like, you have to be good. But how? Like the delinquents we are, we'll talk him out of it, of course. That's our lady, the most delinquent of them all, finding peaceful resolutions to the most violent of circumstances. Hurry up, you two! Always be on time, if not early! But don't you dare run in the hallways! By God, never do that! It is, this is nice to hear Raspberry Girl. Um, Chapter 1, Netherworld on a Student. Tutorial number 1. It's been ten years since I've been home. But having your home on campus is quite strange. I don't know if it's convenient or the exact opposite. Why is there a classroom in the way? Huh? Who's there? Prinny's dude. Hey, hey, hey. Pretty good, eh, say? How'd you know I was here? No, it's not Prinny's dude. <laughs> Trying to ambush me on the way home. You go to Evil Academy, I presume. The name's Chewy. I'm a freshman. You've been getting a lot of attention for your first day. So I gotta beat you up. <laughs> so there's at least one spirited freshman honor student. Excellent. I've been looking for someone to test my experimental electrolysis machine on. Oh, they slow down, I say. You're not fighting me. Ole, muchachos! I leave them to you. I go watch from a safe distance and cheer you on. Thanks. And when you're about to win, I'll come back for the killing blow. Yeah, that makes more sense. Ha! Ambushing me at home, relying on others and stealing the best part, eh? A clever honor student indeed. However, I can't lose here. I must obtain the hero's power and beat that with my own hands! Alright, then we got Prinny, so, um, yes. i remind myself where we are. Did you call for me, young master? Indeed, I was wondering what would be the most effective way to turn this room into a bloodbath. For the Prinnies, dude. Uh, I suggest you follow the basics of battle very closely. Tutorial Battle Basics. First, we bring your cursor to the base panel and press X button. Yep, 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 yep. We're starting this basic. Apparently so. Yes, basics. 
are always important. Next, select a character and press X button to summon them to battle. Take this! If you mistakenly pick the wrong person, move the cursor through that character and press the circle button to cancel. No need to worry, I never make mistakes. Uh, you will whip me around. Here we go! There's actually a character called Ruin. And this shows the na same na names from Disgaea 2. Now, let's give commands to the characters you summon. Let's have a look at the names when we get a chance. Hmm, I'm good at ordering people around. Master, you are a good melee fighter. So I'll have you move next to the enemy and... Do some experiments. When you are done moving, select the attack command. And now you are done commanding. However, you will not immediately begin your attack. Why is that? To execute the actions you commanded, access the menu with the triangle button and select execute or end turn. Here we will select execute. It's like, do it, do it. It's like it's, I should really just yeah. skip this one, shouldn't I? It's basically the same. And thus the flow of action is complete. Command, triangle, execute. Remember this carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite sluggish. Why don't we just attack immediately? Because you must think strategically about team attacks and combos. Here, let me show you an example of how to give orders. Take this! I wanted to see their names properly. We've got Ruin. Ruin has changed from the previous game. Ooh. Like this? That was Laura Bailey as well. Muffled, aren't they? Ah! That is strange. Ah, so this is a team attack and combo. Yes, a team attack can activate if an ally is next to you when you attack. Up to four people can join the team. Yeah, just just because you can't put more characters around them. Combos occur when you focus attacks on one character consecutively. The more combos, the stronger each attack gets. Hmm, so by combining team attacks and combos, I can gang up on and beat down my enemies. When there are multiple ally characters, they will take their actions in the order you gave them the commands. After executing attack and special actions, you will not be able to cancel them, so please be careful. You said strategy is important, right? I will show you the perfect battle plan using my 1.8 million EQ. Just putting them all back, it's like, just, just start again. What happens if I press end turn? Young master, that's... You fool! Hey, dude! Hey, hey dude. dude! Here we go, dude! Here we go, dude! Ugh. If you carelessly select end turn, you may bring this kind of abuse upon yourself. That was not a miscalculation. I purposely took those attacks to raise my anger. I want to argue with you. Lowly scum who are KO'd can be revived at the nurse's office. However, if you are, if you are, yes. If all summoned characters are KO'd, it will be a game over. Please keep this in mind. <laughs> as long as I'm in command, game overs are impossible. So there's no need to worry. Absolutely. Young master, lastly, let me explain to you about changing the camera angle. R1, L, well, L and R, because I suppose this would be on Vita. There are several ways to change the camera angle. Press L or R to rotate the camera in the corresponding direction. There you go. I did do that, it did. Or you can use the, no. Just like this, the point of view and zoom can be changed. There are three levels of viewing angles, depending on the situation. Change so you can view the map better. No problem, changing the view angle is one of the basics, even though I can't really do it. You can also... You can also the change the angle. Yep. At which you view the map. Press tri triangle. Yeah. Press square and touch the top left of the... I haven't got a touch screen. So, wow, this is quite a dynamic view angle. I'm going to have to play around to see if that works. I'm skip this because it's like I can't do that at this point. Oh, if you do not like you... No. What did this say? That might have actually been relevant for me. Oh well. Uh, we're going to help later. Right, here we go. Well then, my role here is done. Best of luck to you, young master. 
Right, let's have a play around with the camera. Maybe I can use the touchpad on here. Like, no so far. No, the touchpad doesn't seem to do anything, so it's like, no. Oh. Oh, does that count as touch? Oh, so I see. So I do have a touch, but it's it's L2 and R2. You can see it coming down from there, look. In the top right and the top left. Right, but anyway, I'm, I'm fine with this. Anyway, so, right, so... Oh, I was really hoping you would be Bloody Melon. But we got Ruin. With something. Here I go! Right, Mao! I don't think I can lift at this point. I Here think I it needs to actually tell me. It's, it's, you can see it's got the question marks there, which is probably going to be lift. Alright, so we'll actually go from the side of you. Meh. So. Let's roll! Let's roll! And... Go there. I'll handle do, it! Do, 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 do. But yeah! Coral Bainey was, was my, my staple. Like, my, the, the, the one I would go to to just be like, the, dub, me. the dub's gonna be generally good. So it's like, I, I trust this game will, ha! like, be worth investing my time in. Ha! Ha! That's changed now, obviously. That's more defense there instead. And... Do it, do it! Do it, do it! And we may as well head out there. Actually, hey! Simon there, he can actually maybe help with those two when they attack. Right, so we'll still defend though. Right, so, end turn. There! Let's roll! Right now, the two staples I go to for. Ooh, she got something there. Two staples I go to for dubs would very much be. Sarah. And, um. Why can I not remember her name? Kira. Kira Buckland. Voice of 2B. They're usually good indicators to me that the dub has had some effort put into it, so we'll get that, because we may as well. And we'll go special fire. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Go there. May as well get a little attack out here on Megas, I suppose. Dun, 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 dun. Right, are we done? No, we got Prinny Dude. Prinny Dude! May as well actually attack the other Prinny Dude. Prinny Dude, Prinny Dude. And turn. Yes! What's XP in a chest? Seriously now. Not good! Go level up though. Here we go, dude! I was hoping for a counter, but we didn't get one. It's unlikely, with whatever her name is. Here we go, dude! I want to call her Berry Melon, but I can't, because that's it's literally not her name. So how much health has he got? Eleven. Let's go attack, execute. Ha! Oh, I thought that would be it. Dude! Need counter. Ha! Thank you. Sound effects very, very muffled. Very muffled. Welcome home, Master. The student store is ready now, dude. Student store. The music, I love it. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. By student store, I'm talking about the shop in Evil Academy, dude. You buy items from the weapon store, armor shop, and general store to strengthen your equipment, dude. I see, so I need money. All of you, give me everything you've got. Extorting us already? I'm sure I never will, honest student, dude. <laughs> Don't praise me so much, it makes me giddy. The playstyle will change depending on whether you prioritize weapons or armor too, dude. And each character can equip only one weapon and up to three armor pieces. You can ask Zombie V. What a name. For more detailed explanations about weapons, dude. I see. Thanks for explaining. By the way, hurry up and give me all your money. Demon. You are a monster, dude. Mao has stolen the Prinny's single hell. Alright then. Right, so let's actually start speaking to some of these then. We know what it's going to be. It's going to be you can heal up. If you don't heal up, you'll die. So heal all. There we go. 
Welcome to the Rosen Queen Co. Why does that name ring a bell? I don't know. When you think of items, we've been using prioritized weapons and armor, but healing items are really important too. Yes, that would be a good thing to have. That's why you came to the general store to buy items that you might just need in a tight situation. Yes, that's why I'm here. Well, enjoy shopping. I won't. Goodbye. Right, so next. Plinia! Hello, Plinia! You got, you got a lot to tell me. Wow! Can't believe that. Hello! Welcome to the Rose. Uh, again? We at Rose and Queen Co. work day and night to provide our customers with a variety of products to make you happy. Our selection will change each time you enter the shop. If you don't like the products, you may leave and re enter. How this works, we don't know, but it does. Please enjoy your shopping. We won't. Hello, welcome to the Rose. Again? When equipping weapons, I suggest you select the weapon the character is proficient in. For example, Mao's choice of weapon is sword, spear, axe, or staff. You may want to start out with swords. Each character has different choices, so check their stats. Just, yep. For proficiency of the weapon before buying it. Also remember that taking off the weapon will remove the ability to use weapon-specific skills. Re-equip to use again. In the beginning, concentrate on one weapon to be good at. For more information about weapons, you should ask ZOMAV on campus. We won't! We won't bother. Right, so we're actually going to end this part here then. Yep. Just do some lovely jumping. Lovely jumping. We've got a nice boingy noise. Right, so yeah, we're, we're, we're done for now. And in the next part, we'll, we'll carry on with a little tutorial thing we're doing. And, and we'll, we'll see what's going on. Ta-ta for now.